Introducing the all-new Taurus G3C. The next generation G3C Compact 9mm delivers the ultimate balance of power and performance for any self-defense situation. With key new features and enhanced customization potential for shooters and everyday carry practitioners of all ages and abilities. Front and rear serrations are standard on the G3C slide, providing a more tactical surface area for a positive grip, making slide manipulation and press checks easier, regardless of operating style or hand size. A visual chamber indicator replaces the mechanical indicator found on the Taurus G2C, reducing parts and streamlining the slide profile. To provide longer wear resistance and better corrosion protection from environmental conditions, the G3C slide is treated with a proven tenifer finish, delivering more robust surface integrity to maximize corrosion resistance and minimize scuffing. In addition, all operational controls benefit from a black Teflon coating, which provides corrosion and rust resistance, as well as a reduced friction coefficient that offers smoother operation. Designed to withstand the rigors of everyday carry, the G3C comes standard with all steel front and rear sights. The rear sight is serrated to reduce glare and quicken sight picture acquisition, while drift adjustability allows the shooter to fine tune the point of impact. The rear sight dovetail is also cut to dimensions, which accept the most common aftermarket fiber optic or tritium night sights available. Engineered for accuracy enhancing performance, the upgraded G3C trigger has an exceptionally crisp brake to reduce shot disturbance and help tighten groups. A redesigned flat trigger face concentrates finger pressure on the front of the shoe for a straighter pull, while a shorter trigger reset delivers quicker follow-up shots, reduces side alignment disturbance, and minimizes poor trigger control. An ergonomic grip profile with its expertly contoured palm swell, highly textured grip panels, memory pads for precise, repeatable finger hand placement, and sculpted extended base plate provides a glove-like fit for most shooters' hands to promote better accuracy and firearm retention. For enhanced performance, scallops are integrated in the G3C magazine extension. These are designed to assist in tactical magazine changes should dust or grit prevent the magazine from dropping freely when depressing the mag release. The all-new Taurus G3C builds on the proven foundation that has made the Compact G-Series among the most popular personal defense EDC handguns ever. What up, Tubes? So, I'm going to trigger the gun community, especially the gun snobs. It's very easy to do so. Speaking of easy, the gun snobs as moms, they are extremely easy. Man, wow, very easy, very, very easy. Oh, oh, like this, and oh, like that, and ha, 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 Taurus this, and ha, 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 Taurus that, but yet none of you mother... I guess I shouldn't, I guess. Mofos would stand in front of it. Not a damn one of you. Oh, it's a gun, though. No, that ain't what you were saying a minute ago. You were making fun of people because they got inexpensive budget firearms. You know... If you're not willing to stand in front of one of them, then shut the hell up. Just close your mouth and go about your day and live your miserable life because you live your life on the internet just, you know, being absolutely miserable. So have the day you all deserve if you're going to be a gun snob in my comments. A reminder, if you do so then you're going to boost the algorithm and then other people will see this. I don't care if you don't like Olight. I don't care if you don't like Taurus. I just don't give a shit. I don't. I want people to be able to afford a firearm to defend themselves. Having one of these 
is a lot better in your hand than having a Glock, Springfield, CZ um, on layaway, SIG. And I know I'm missing a few. But here's the thing. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And if you don't have it in the time that you need it, it don't matter if it's a Glock or if it's a damn Smith & Wesson or a Taurus here. If it gets the job done, what does it matter? Brand loyalty is so freaking stupid. In just a moment, Hickok45, I have screen recorded one of his popular videos. All credit goes to him. Great guy, never met him, but I love watching his videos. And after that, we're going to come back and talk about these two. And at the very end of this video, there's going to be a range video. So take it away, Mr. Hickok 45. The, what we hear quite a lot these days, how Taurus has really improved their quality control and that kind of thing, there must be some truth to it. Oh, I can figure out. The proof's in the pudding. We, we've not had one of these malfunction. Three of these things and have shot them a, a fair amount. They feel good. They shoot fine. All the ergonomics, other than that trigger issue I have, uh, they feel good. They feel better than a lot of pistols. So thank you, Mr. Hickok45, for everything that you do. And... I will always continue to watch your channel. Big, big supporter. Love his work. Now, at the beginning of this video, you saw the introduction to the Taurus G3C, which is this firearm right here. Now, I know there's going to be somebody that's going to say, well, it doesn't have a manual safety on it. Well, then what's that? Oh, my God, you showed your serial number. What are you going to do? Report it as stolen? That's a felony. So go right on ahead and get some years in prison for being a moron. This one is the G2C, but it's chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson. Oh, and there's a particular schmuck that's going to make fun of the fact that I have eczema. So, you know, go for it. Either way, they live a very miserable life. Oh, and they're going to make fun of the fact that I have crumbs on my table where I eat. And that I have pots and pans here that I haven't put up yet. Go ahead and make fun of it. See if I care. The more you comment, the more I'm on into the whole YouTube algorithm and the more people will see that I am trying to get people to understand that you don't have to spend a buttload of money on firearms, which if you look through my videos, you'll see that I have Springfields, Glocks, all of that. But I'm not going to sit here and say that, you know, you've got to just specifically only buy expensive firearms. And a Glock isn't expensive. It's just, compared to others, it's cheap. But, sorry, I was wiping sweat off my forehead. This is... Uh, the G2C and 9mm. G2C 9mm, G2C 40 Smith & Wesson, G2, G3C and 9mm. Excuse me. This one the wife likes. So, she likes this. I have never fired that. I remember that I had this. Would I recommend either one of these firearms? Absolutely. Absolutely. Why? Because they get the job done. They absolutely work. And before I end this video, 
remind you that at the end of this video is going to be a range video at my local shooting range from this coming up weekend. I made this video Thursday morning and I published it here uh, over the weekend. I don't know what day I will publish it and use power director and all of that and no i'm not paying money to remove the watermark because somebody is upset that i didn't you know either way the butthurt individual in questioning just needs to go and live their miserable life because that's what they love to do is be miserable and treat other people like shit but in closing these guns are great for what they are. Would I specifically say that they are cheap, cheap? No. Are they a Jimenez, a Cobra, a High Point? Hell no. They're far above that. Now, was Taurus at one point uh, getting a bad reputation? Absolutely they did, but they rebounded. So anything can start out as dog shit. You know, Toyota started out as crap. And, well, the recent events have shown that they're kind of doing the same way right now. But this is about these firearms here, not about Toyota's, you know, mishaps, I guess you could say. When they should have stayed with the V8. Yes, it was outdated, but either way. At least it was more reliable than that twin turbo 3.4. I mean, 3.5 liter that they've been using since 2000 and everything. But, the, you know, either way, I, you know, I'm just ranting on about off subject, you know. However, if you're going to go to a gun store and purchase one of these, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend that you go and you get one for home defense. Why? Well, this sits on the bedside table. The wife loves this. Will it go bang? Absolutely. Hornady critical defense. Great round. Hornady critical defense. Great round. Why a Taurus? It's inexpensive. I could use my Glock. I could use one of my SIGs. I could use one of my Springfields. But what's going to happen in case that I need to use one of those weapons? The police are going to confiscate them. Oh, but TMR, you'll get it back in a week. Maybe where you live, but where I'm at in Mississippi, uh-uh, that's not happening. They're going to drag their feet, regardless if your lawyer gets involved or not. And oh my God, he can, they can see the serial number on this too. I don't care anymore. I don't give a shit. But either way, I'd rather use something that is going to be inexpensive that if I don't get it back, I'm not going to give a shit and I can just go down to the gun range and buy another one. Because at my local gun range, I can buy these all day long for like $240. So I'm not going to sweat over $240. I'm going to sweat over... 600 plus because well shit i paid that much for it you know a glock and i know somebody's gonna say well it'll be more reliable yeah so was toyota at one point now they're dropping engines like flies and transmissions so oh it's the first year model of it it's still a shit box it should have never happened but the epa got involved and they wanted to copy forward in the eco boost sorry you're not going to copy the ones that started it all just just not happening i had to throw that in there the gun snobs and the car community is just that they are just absolutely 100 percent so freaking gullible i know what they're going to say i know how they're going to act because they're dumbasses brand loyalty is for the birds if it works and it gets the job done, who gives a shit? TMR out. Enjoy the range video. Here is the range. You select whatever you want. 
then it goes out. So what we got today, block 22, block 17, Taurus, I think I pissed off the lady in there by talking about her seeing, she'll be alright. So, I got to find somewhere to prop this up.
getting better. I'm not used to those tops. That's with the block. Now, it's time for spring feed. Yeah, I pulled a few, but it's okay.
guitars. Yeah. See you in a little bit. Yeah.